is uh, our main attraction at Jingle Ball, December yes, 19th. We mm -hmm. appreciate you, sir. Man, I appreciate y'all. And um, you posted the flyer, too. You're like, I don't even know that was in the contract. And nobody again? posted but the king. Nah, man, but I appreciate y'all, man, for, you know what I'm saying, for uh, offering me uh, my last uh, working gig because I wow. do not need the money anymore and I will not be performing. So you guys, uh, y'all have... So this is your, your last they, they, one? Yeah, they're going to be there. I don't want to do it anymore. What? What? This is what your you last mean, performing what? show. Yeah, I don't want people to pay me to hop around and sweat for the entertainment. He anymore. said that before. Do he said that before. So I'm picking I mean, I'm up all. Okay, no, wait, wait. wait. It so be, it gonna be for me for free. You know so what I mean? you heard him say that before. Is yeah. it cap or is he for real? It ain't cap. He did. I just heard him say it before. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, picking, I'm picking up. <laughs> I, I will be picking up all tip shows that he ain't going to doing them all. But will you do anything for the PSC? Of course. Okay, okay. I'm going to answer the phone to tell them that I will not be performing. <laughs> uh, T.I. is uh, our main attraction at Jingle Ball. Yes, sir. So, yeah, G yeah, he said, G.I., he said, after this year, he said, I'm done. I'm sad. You know, he said, I'm, I don't need the money, and I am finished. No more performing. So, I came. Do you feel like he's telling the truth, or is he cap? It's cap. It's cap. This is one. This is a type of field where a lot of people can't leave, and um, can't leave, and the sweat and stuff. Plus, a lot of these guys' money don't be a hundred percent right. Boosie is still performing for God's sakes, and he damn near halfway, like from diabetes. Respect to him, but um, I I would have I could see a. Um, you know, I mean, you even still got 50 cents still wanting to perform. They love the money. It's it's a feel. And, and let's be real frankly. Some of these guys must got their money together. But performing is just in their blood. Why would the why would um, Guns and Rope? What, what's um, Mick Jagger and them boys who still tour? They're yeah. Them, I'm talking about they're 80. They still touring. They're, Earth, they're Earth, 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 Wind, and Fire. So Earth, Wind, and Fire. Like some of these guys are like two, three hundred million in. It's just the love for it, you know what I mean? And um, um, I just, you know what I mean? I would love to see him in person, but it's Cap. He, he'll be performing again. Not only that, but also shout out to those that's watching us on Facebook, Instagram, Kick, and also Twitch, X as well, and also Rumble. Thank you guys for always tuning in every time we go live. We really do greatly appreciate it. Shout, shout out to D, that's also in the building. Ashton, the creator of his... Of the Shiesty Avengers is also in the building. Shout out to you. And also the lovely Jalen is also in the building as well. Like I came always say, Houston Finest. Houston Finest. How you doing? And also, and I'd have a shout out to Joe Nor Heard him. That's also in the building as well. And also a shout out to the lovely Mimi, the co-host of the Shiesty Avengers, is also in the building. But Joe Nor Heard him have Wait a then. super chat. Go ahead, I can for the super chat. Joe Nor Heard him for the 499. How you ball. doing, Mimi? It's good to see you here, baby. It, you know what I mean? I don't want nobody to think I'm giving anybody special treatment, but they support heavy. And assalamu alaikum to my half-brother from Boston. We are from Boston. Joe don't hurt him. Brothers, we made it through another week. Healthy and safe blessings. People, I want to share that and spread that blessing that Joe don't hurt him to all your and to you, Sherry Bryant. Pretty brown. Not only that, but shout out to the lovely B Love is also in the book. Howdy with the cowboy uh, emoji. B Love is it? here. Yes, she is. She's that's her. That's why I say howdy. Uh, howdy. B Love. Yeah, I like that. I like the emoji with the cat with the hat. It be making me laugh. The cat, the little cowboy oh, hat. Man. I think it's it. You see? You've been better. You already, baby. You already better, baby. Don't even. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you gonna be better. Go ahead. No, but the aspect of Ti. Now we already know all of it. Everything he's saying is cap. Because mind you, everything when it comes to performing live, remember is is big moolah. So if they come to him with a big check, you think he's gonna deny that? Knowing that he got bills to pay, knowing he got child support, knowing that he have a family to feed. Come on now. Now I get the aspect of him doing entertainment like movies. He does appearances, and you know he have an album that's still making money because of royalty, but still at the same time, somebody comes in and offer you five million to go perform right now on Miami Beach for uh, for like uh, for the Ultimate Festival or something, he's gonna come down here, especially if it's Miami Beach, he's gonna come down here. So I find it to be cow. Now, I, I do agree he might take a break for a little bit, 
just for a little while so you can focus on the family and mind his son king just recently about to get ready to have a baby so you might go and probably teach him about fatherhood so you might just want to take a break just for a little while but he's gonna go bounce back right back into the the music industry because that's what he loved to do he said that on a recent interview a long time ago, i think 10 years ago he said i always dream about being the biggest artist in the world and now he is the biggest the biggest artist in the world you think he's going to just step down like that nah i don't see this happening go ahead jordan uh, for Ray, for me, I kind of understand he's getting older into the game. You know, he don't move before like he used to. And like you said, Ronnie, you know, he's going, he's going to be a grandfather. So I guess, you know, he wants to spend more time with his grandkids and everything. But you, I know you want to spend more time with your grandkids, but once you see your grandkids, it's like, yo, man, I need to get back out there. I need to grind again. I need to perform again because you're not, you're not just doing it for your kids. You're going to do it for your grandkids. You know, like, you definitely want to have to tell us, hey, man, I need, I need, still need to do more. You know, and the thing is, like, you know, when it comes to New Year's, you know, there's somebody in, in Miami, New York, especially Atlanta, that's going to offer them maybe a half a half a mil to do a show. Come on now. And then you got people, you got Europe overseas where they love pair Americans, you know, to do it, to, you know, to, you know, to, to perform. You know, that's like I said, TI is, is pretty much known, not just America, but they're definitely in some parts of the country say, uh, you know, them, of him wants to perform or something like that. So. You know, what if uh, he get a break? Uh, 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 you never know. He might get a residency in Vegas for maybe a couple months at the MGM or something like that. And they, they pay good too. So, to me, but yeah, the money is just too, for for Ti. You know, to be an ATL legend and everything, and put in his you know his mark into the music game. There's still too much. He like there is too much money that Ti cannot refuse. He's definitely gonna get the bag. You know. He's definitely one of the um, um, a legend in the game, especially in the South. So, um, yeah, he just kind of feel like you know, like, you know, let me lay back. You know, I got grandkids. You know, I'm gonna chill with them a little bit more. I get all that, but Ti, at the same time, you gonna look at them grandkids. Like, you know what? I, I still need to do a little bit more. You know, I, I, I still, you know, you know, my kids are set. We'll make sure my grandkids, was, grandkids are set. So, in the moment, he's thinking probably yeah, but you know, Ti, you, you're not gonna stop. You know. It's, like I, like we all said, it's too much money out there, especially for you. That people, will, you know, people with promoters will give you just just performing that thing. So, you know, Ti, you know, if you want to take a break a little bit, go ahead. But I'm sorry, that, that money's too great, especially for you, sir. Especially for you. Since we're on the topic about the money, so Jordan, what's going on with the moolah? Chi Ching, what's happening with the money? And since we're on the money topic, <laughs> you muted, big dog. Oh, my bad. Yeah, let's talk about the money. Let's talk about uh, the keys to raising your credit score. So let's talk about the uh, the great millionaire, uh, Kevin O'Leary, um, the guy who was on Shark Tank. And he 